All right, well, good morning and welcome. Happy Sunday morning to you. Uh, Feliz Domingo por la mañana. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all of you that are joining us by audio video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive, you know, just like uh, when you have your table in a set and all these good foods are there for you and you just prepare yourselves because you want to partake. Amen. So that's what we need to do. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. And you know what? He always has something good for you. Amen. So be blessed and be changed. Amen. We don't want to be the same. You don't want to come in and go out the same. You want to change. Let the word of God bless you, encourage you, and change you. Amen. And sometimes he wants to correct us. Amen. And that's it's okay. Let him. <laughs> so praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive. I want to read you something I, um, from last week. But it's a, it, it, it's good. And if you don't have it, write it down. Amen. Anything we say or, or do, write it down. Amen. Scriptures we use, we use the Word of God. So I don't know what you have, but grab yourselves your Bibles and sit it right next to you. And grab your pen, grab your highlighter, <laughs> and highlight and write. Amen. So praise God. It says, let today be the kind of day where you forget to worry. Why? About your worries because you're so wrapped up worshiping the one that can take them all away from you. Yeah. Amen. We need to remember this on a daily basis. Uh -huh. He can take all these. He's already done it. Yes. All he, he asks us to do is say, cast it on me. Give it to me. <laughs> but we still want to help him out. <laughs> mm -hmm. We got to cast it on him. It says all. Cast all. All, right. all these things on him because he cares for us. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, before I get uh, too excited and uh, go any further, grab your sword, soldier of God, and uh, say it like you mean it. Mm -hmm. Amen? I don't know about you, but this is my Bible, so you better have one. <clears throat> this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I am what it says I have. What it says I, have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I like that part where it says, I boldly confess. Uh -huh. I boldly confess. And you know the battlefield is the mind. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to have all kinds of things going through there. Uh -huh. Negative, positives, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But still, you have to have control. Yeah. Because that's what the enemy uses. Yeah. The mind is the battlefield. So get your mind in order. So now, as we start, get your mind on Jesus. Yeah, get your mind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get your mind on Jesus. I've already confessed my mind is alert. Amen. Quit saying negative things about your mind. I have the mind of Christ. What about you? Amen. So confess positive things. And we keep talking about that, but we need to confess the word of God. We need to confess the right things and positive things and not negative things. Because you can have what you say. Amen. So don't blame nobody else but yourself. It's coming out of your mouth. So you got to put a guard on there. Amen. And you got to be careful with the things you say. So grab your swords. Open your Bibles. Dust it off if you need to. But <laughs> today the Lord has an awesome message for us. Mm -hmm. And it's called this. Victory is mine. Amen. On a daily basis when you meet with him. Before you walk out. Just know that victory is mine. I don't care what's facing you, what giants are coming against you, what you're going through, what circumstances are. Still, <laughs> victory is mine. Why? Because he says so. Uh -huh. And if he says so, you look out. Amen. He goes with you wherever you go. Yeah. He knows who you are yeah. and who you are mm -hmm. in him. And when you get that word in you, fear has to go. Enemies has to go. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because... I'm going to say, hey, get deep behind me. Matter of fact, before I get too far ahead, well, let me see. What I, I want to read you what I wrote here in the beginning here. It says, victory is mine. Victory in Jesus. Awesome songs. These are awesome songs in the Word of God. Victory is mine. Mm -hmm. I have victory in Jesus on a daily basis, wherever I go. Amen. The victory is mine daily when I put my faith and trust in the Lord amazing abilities mm -hmm. his amazing abilities instead of my own <laughs> i can do all things through christ who strengthens me victory begins with believing the word of god yeah. you got to get it in you mm -hmm. amen when you get it in you you got to let it out 
Says Adi, in the most being shall flow rivers of living water. Yes. The word is alive. Yes, it is. Amen. He says, I speak the word. He speaks his word and it goes out and accomplishes. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing for us. Amen. But we, we we always think in negative. Well, it works for them. It won't work for me. Mm. Well, you got to get off of that. Mm -hmm. Amen. And start confessing the word of God. It doesn't matter what the circumstances look like. It doesn't matter what the odds look like. Right. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to tell you a, a story here. It's my story. So <laughs> I'm going to tell it my way. <laughs> Not your way. <laughs> <laughs> but we're talking about little David. Uh -huh. Amen. To be king of Israel. Remember, he started off as a little shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. The man of God came to Jesse's house. God sent him. Says, the next king of Israel is coming from Jesse's house. Mm -hmm. You go, and I'll let you know. And he had all seven sons go through. And no, 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 no. He said, you have another son? He said, oh yeah, but he's uh, he's just a little shepherd boy and he, he, he he's taking care of the sheep. This is you. You're just a, a little thing. Mm -hmm. That's the way you see yourself. You're just a nobody sitting on the side. Well, God put you there and God gifted you and God called you and you got everything in you that you can fulfill mm -hmm. the mission he's given you. You just got to know who you are and who who's backing you. He says, oh, yeah, I have another son. He's, he's just a little shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. Well, you can name yourself whatever you want to name yourself, mm -hmm. but you're somebody to him. See yourself the way he sees you. Yes. Every somebody, you're somebody. I don't care what the world says. <laughs> Quit trying to please the world uh -huh. and be a God pleaser, not a man pleaser. That's it. Because then they're going to see, they're going to see what he sees in you. Amen. You see what he sees in you. See yourself the way he sees you. So he came and he walked in front of the man of God. And the man of God, God says, that's him. <laughs> the little shepherd boy. Amen. So anyway, that's not my story. <laughs> well, that's part of the story. <laughs> when he went to bring lunch to his brothers as they're facing the Philistines and going into battle, David walks and brings his lunch and he hears the giant saying bad things about his God. You know what about it? And nobody's talking about God except when David shows up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When David shows up, bottom line is this. <laughs> he sees the giant. He confronts the giant. And you know what he says? He mm -hmm. says, victory is mine. Mm -hmm. Amen. From the little David confronting the giants. What giants are you facing on a daily basis? Mm -hmm. He says, hey, victory is mine. Why? Because God is with me. Yeah. I'm God's child. I'm God's favorite child. And God is with me. So I'm going to have victory today. Victory yeah. is mine. This is your marching orders. Victory is mine. Because I'm a child of God. Yeah. Amen. And God is already, Jesus already paid the price. Uh -huh. Amen. He's already paid the price. So we just need to be obedient yeah. and confess his word. Mm -hmm. Be obedient to his word. Have faith in what he's told us to do. Mm -hmm. So there's a little story about little David going, going against this giant. He couldn't do it on his own, but he, he says, victory is mine because God is with me. Mm -hmm. He says, he's delivered me from the bear. Mm -hmm. He's delivered me from the lion. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The same God is going to deliver him from this yeah. giant. Whatever is facing him. Amen. God is going to see you through. Yeah. So whatever it is, you know, things may look bad, but how, how bad they look, no. it doesn't matter. You know, it's time you say, hey, Lord, I, mm -hmm. I've sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He's not going to turn away from you. That's right. Amen. We have turned away from him, mm -hmm. but it's time to come home. Amen. It's time for you to say, hey, I need to come home. Mm -hmm. And he says, you know what? It's time. Mm -hmm. It's time to do what he's called us to do yes. and fulfill your mission and say, hey, from this day on, and every day from now on, it's going to be victory is mine. Yes. Amen. Come on, man. That ain't the end of it because you have your mission to fulfill. Yes. And you say victory is mine every day. Yes. And you know what? You need to confess the word of God. And you need to confess that. Let your enemy know. Say it out yes. loud. Yes. You know, as a matter of fact, here's my song. It says victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Yeah. And I'm going to say this on a daily basis. Every day. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. 
And I yes. told Satan, get thee behind uh -huh. because victory today is mine. That's it. The enemy has plans for you. Uh -huh. He wants to stop you. Mm -hmm. He wants to distract you. He wants to do all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, the Bible tells us the enemy comes to what? Steal, kill, kill, kill and destroy. Mm -hmm. Amen. I mean, if you don't have that marked in your, in, in, in your Bible, mark it down, okay? Open your Bibles to John 10.10. 10. Yes. I mean, it's, it's, it's a scripture we use all the time. Yes. But the uh, book of John, chapter 10 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You know, we're maturing in the things of God. And one day it's just going to get up. Just <laughs> your eyes are going to be open. And you're going to say, wow, I've never seen it like that before. Well, you, you, praise God. You know, it's called... Growing up, it's called maturing in the Word of God. John 10.10 10 says what? The thief, or you could say the devil, <laughs> in might is a red, cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Yeah. And Jesus says, I come that they might have life and have the, uh, they might have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. Amen. So mark that. Highlight it. And you know where it says, um, uh, let me see. Talking about that you might have it more abundantly. Put your name there. Amen. That you might have life more abundantly. Because you're a child of God. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. I don't know about you. But anyway, it goes like this. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. It says, joy is mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Happiness is mine. Victory is mine. And victory is mine. Yeah. Amen. I mean, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm going to sing. You know, uh, David also wrote, I don't know how many, but he wrote a whole lot of songs mm -hmm. in the book of Psalms. Yes. And he was a musician and I'm sure he was a good singer. <laughs> and he sang mm -hmm. a lot of these. He wrote a lot of these. Yes. Amen. So, praise God. Say, hey, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you know? Because the Word of God tells me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the Word of God tells me and uh, I'm going to confess what the Word of God says. Yes. So, we're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory. Yeah. Because of what Jesus has already done for us. Yes. What did he do? He paid the price. Yes, he not did. only he paid the price. He paid the price in full. Yeah. Amen. So Jesus has already done it. Victory is mine. You have victory in Jesus. And here's the thing. It's your choice. Uh -huh. You choose. Mm -hmm. You could be a, 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 a cheerful a Christian. Having victory on a daily basis, or you can be a defeated Christian mm -hmm. and not know anything. Yeah. But still, why not live in victory? Mm -hmm. Amen. Knowing His Word is knowing the truth. And John eight and uh, verse thirty two says, "And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free." Mm -hmm. So it's best that we get the Word of God in us, because the Word of God is going to set us free from all the traditions, from all the mindsets, from all the negative things. Yeah. And we start confessing positive things instead of negative things. Yeah. Amen. Come on. That's for somebody. Yeah. Somebody needed that. You got it now. So confessing and living in victory is your choice. Live free or live defeated. Mm -hmm. But the choice is yours. And you can't blame God for it. Right. Blame yourself. And you can't blame somebody else. Because you got to do it for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You, gotta, you have to do it for yourself. Mm -hmm. First John 5, 4 and 5 in the NIV says... For every one born of God overcomes the world. Amen. And this is a victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. Yes. Who is it that overcomes the world? Mm -hmm. Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. That's right. So this is the victory. So you have victory. Mm -hmm. But you need to start confessing the right things. You know, yeah. if you focus on the world, if you focus on the news all the time, mm. ain't nothing but negative news. No, and if you're not confessing the Word of God, renewing your mind with the Word of God, uh -huh. you're going to start acting like them and confessing the right, the same things they confess. Mm -hmm. Negative, negative, negative. And you're sowing negative things for yourself, for your life. Mm -hmm. And you don't want that to happen. If you think you're fighting a losing battle, fear not. For victory, mm -hmm. have victory in Jesus. Amen. Learn to stand on His victory. Yeah. Learn to stand on His truth. That's it. Amen. And write that down. You know, to understand on his victory and his truth or his word. I'm standing. He said, when you've done all to stand, stand. And I'm standing 
on him. I'm standing in him. Amen. That's what we need yes. to do. Praise God. You're not fighting a losing battle. That's right. Amen. Don't see yourself that way. Mm -mm. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. Amen. See yourself the way he sees you. And I'm pressing on. And I'm going on. <laughs> and victory is mine mm -hmm. every day. On a daily basis. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. I don't know about you. But I, I am excited. I am God. pressing on. Amen. Ephesians chapter 6 verse uh, 10 through 18. It talks about putting the whole armor of God. Or you should say, or some translation says, pull the full armor of God. Uh -huh. Amen. So let's go there. Amen. Let's go there. Book of Ephesians chapter 6. I'm going to read it from my, what I wrote here. And you can follow along in yours. But it's in the word of God. It's in, it's in the Bible. Go to uh, Ephesians chapter 6 and start at verse, uh, verse 10. It says, my starts off with the whole armor of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. The whole armor of God. And it goes like this. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Be strong in Him. Amen. Stand on His word. And in the power of His might. Mm -hmm. Verse 11 says, put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So who do we fight on a daily basis? We don't fight brother, sister. <laughs> we don't fight family. We don't fight. We, we fight. The wiles of the devil. Yeah. We fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. If you're not in the spirit, you ain't going to defeat the enemy. Mm -mm. You got to be in the word and you got to know the word and you got to confess the word. Yes. Verse 12 says, For we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, mm -hmm. but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against mm -hmm. spiritual hosts of wickedness mm -hmm. in high places. Mm -hmm. It's time that you know this. Because we're trying to deal with the flesh. Yeah. And it's not the flesh we're dealing with. Right. It's a spiritual a spiritual uh, wrestle against. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. But we wrestle against principalities and powers. Mm -hmm. Against rulers of darkness. And uh, against spiritual hosts of wickedness. Yeah. That's what you're battling battle against. That's why you, you, can't, you don't go anywhere. You, don't, mm -hmm. you ain't accomplishing anything. Because you're still in the flesh. Yeah. You got to get in the spirit. Yeah. Remember we're tribeing. We're spirit, we have a soul, and we live in a body. Uh -huh. Our spirit <coughs> feeds the word of God. Yes. Our soul, our mind, our will, our emotions, mm -hmm. we renew with the word of God. Yes. And our flesh, we crucify. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. So praise God. 13 says, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having all the, the stand, you do what? Verse 14 says, stand. stand. Mm -hmm. Therefore, having uh, girded your loins with the truth, uh -huh. having put on the breastplate of righteousness, having shot your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, mm -hmm. above all, taking the shield of faith, which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Yeah. It's the wicked one. Yeah. Shooting all these things at you. Uh -huh. And take on the hel uh, helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Which is the word of God. Yes. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Being watchful to this end. With all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Amen. Amen. This is the whole armor of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we have to do it. Mm -hmm. Somewhere here <laughs> I have the whole armor of God. <laughs> see, those of you that are watching by the video can see it. Amen. But it, it says the whole thing, stand. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God, the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, and girt your loins with the truth, the shot, feed our shot with perfect and gospel peace, the uh, sword of the spirit, the shield of faith. Amen. It's all right there. Mm. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Again, fear not, church. If you feel <laughs> the cares, the worries, the Bible tells us in <clears throat> 1 Peter 5, 7, what? Cast all cares on him. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've been through this, but you know we're learners. <laughs> we're not yeah. failures. And quit calling yourself a, a failure. Uh -huh. We're learning as we yes. go on a daily basis. Right. We learn the word of God mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. We're learning step by step, day by day. We learn one step at a time, one day at a time. Mm -hmm. Amen. So never don't go around calling yourself a failure. That's right. You're a learner. You're learning the word of God. You're maturing in the word of God. You're growing in the word of God. Amen. Yeah.
So praise God. Cast all cares, all worries on him. Philippians says cast up. Let's go there. Mm -hmm. Philippians. Uh, book of uh, Philippians chapter 4. Mm. It's right after Ephesians. <laughs> Chapter 4 and verse 6 says, King James says, Be careful for what? Nothing. Nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Here's a. Uh, uh, am I in the right place here? 4 6. Yes. Okay, uh, and the Amplified says, And do not fret or have any anxieties about anything, yeah. but in every circumstance and in every everything by prayer and petition. And you can define your request, it says, With thanksgiving, continue to make your wants known to God. Yeah. Amen. So, cast all these things on Him. All anxieties, all worries, whatever the situation happens to be, mm -hmm. cast it all on Him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hopelessness, uh, false, accused, Feeling like this is the end of it, you know. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't go anymore. Cast it all on Him. Amen. You know, when you start confessing the Word and building yourself up in the Word of God, you know that you're somebody. Yes. And God has you here for a mission. Mm -hmm. God has you here to fulfill something. Mm -hmm. And you're part of the body of Christ. And you're going somewhere to happen for God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. You're a vessel of God. Mm -hmm. You're a mighty vessel of God. Remember, 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. You know, one of the greatest weapons the enemy has against the church is fear. Mm -hmm. When you don't know the word of God, you feel fear mm -hmm. because I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. But when you start building yourself up in the word, yes. Fear goes and yeah. faith goes in. Yeah. Hey, I can do all things through Christ. I'm a somebody. Mm -hmm. I can do something. God has chosen me. I'm going somewhere to happen to bless somebody. Yeah. To lift somebody up instead of pushing them down. Let somebody know God loves you. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's ever told them anything. Mm -hmm. But God says, you go. Tell that person, I love them. Yeah. Well, that don't mean nothing to me. <laughs> Well, you just delivered a message. Yeah, yeah. And they was at, at, at their end. Mm -hmm. And all they wanted to do was hear from God. And, and God yeah. used you to bring and deliver a message and say, mm -hmm. God loves you. Mm -hmm. Wow, I heard from God. Mm -hmm. And they can turn every situation around. Yes, and, yeah. and, and, and start living for him. And press on. And you know what? Victory can be theirs. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the same yeah. God that died for you, the same Jesus died for them, died for you. Yes. Amen. So praise God. So God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. <laughs> know that Jesus paid it all. He paid full price. And he wants to know and be sure that victory is for you. Yes. You know, hey, <laughs> sometimes he puts in situations where... Um, he put he put he put some Goliath in front of us so that a little David can rise up in us. <laughs> and say, God is with me. Hey, wait a minute. If God could help David, if God helped David, he could help me. Yes. Of course he can. Uh -huh. You know? And that's why testimonies are so important. Yeah. Because he delivered you from, from whatever. And he delivered so and so from whatever. And all uh -huh. testimonies are important. Uh -huh. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimonies. Yeah. Wow. Praise God. So you are a somebody. Amen. And whatever testimony you have, God's going to use it to bring somebody out of captivity. Yes, yes. Amen. And they're going to also say, victory is mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So praise Amen. God. Know this, that on a daily basis, we fight a good fight of faith. Mm -hmm. You can open your Bibles to 1 Timothy chapter 6. Mm. Amen. So grab, grab on. <laughs> Grab on and hang on. Here we go. <laughs> Amen. Wow. We're learning something. I hope you're learning something. Yeah. I'm learning something. I learn something all the time. First Timothy chapter 6. 
and verse 12. Mine start off verse 11 says, the, <laughs> the good fight of faith. Mm. Amen. And verse 12 says, fight the good fight of faith. On a daily basis, mm -hmm. you're going to fight the good fight of faith because the enemy is going to come to steal, kill, destroy. He's going to try to distract you. <laughs> He's going to, if you ain't follow the word of God, you follow the world. Yeah. And if you follow the world, you're going to, you're going to feel <laughs> defeated. You're going to feel lost and you're going to feel like you're a nobody. Mm -hmm. So fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Keep yourself connected to the right one right. and fill yourself to overflowing with the things of God, with the word of God. Yeah. So that you don't allow yourself to just go all the way down where the enemy can just come in and walk in. How does he do this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> By your negative talk. Yes, oh my gosh. When you go around, you know, the leaky questions, <laughs> mm -hmm. leaking out negative things. Mm -hmm. And the enemy says, I got you. Mm -hmm. And your door is open mm -hmm. and I'm coming in. So be careful not to let yourself go down so low that you start to talk like the world mm -hmm. and saying things like the world and allowing the enemy to come in. Right. You say, well, how did this happen? Mm -hmm. Go back and think. Mm -hmm. You let him in mm -hmm. by speaking the negative things. Mm -hmm. So let's stay positive and let's speak in faith and, and not in defeat. Amen. Right. It says Verse 12 says, the whole uh, mm -hmm. chapter, I mean, verse says, fight the good fight of faith. Mm -hmm. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and have professed a good profession before many witnesses. Yes. So we fight the good fight of faith on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, <laughs> and we you know what? You got to keep yourself <laughs> stirred up. Keep yourself stirred up. Keep yourself hungry and thirsty for the things of God, for the word of God, mm -hmm. where you always feeding on these things. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hey, I do real good on the physical food. Now I got to do a good job with the spiritual food. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to give uh, good uh, spiritual workouts. Yes. Amen. And get the spiritual food in you mm -hmm. also. So when the enemy comes to knocking, <laughs> you know it's you again. Mm -hmm. I say, take a hike. Say, mm -hmm. victory is mine. Yes. Get thee behind me. Yes. Amen. Yes. And he ain't gonna come mm -hmm. unless you're leaking out negative <laughs> information. Amen. So Amen. praise God. Mm -hmm. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life to which you were also called and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Yes. So the good fight of faith is daily. We also fight a spiritual battle uh -huh. on a daily basis. We need to we need to know this. And the battlefield is the mind. Yes. The enemy cannot make you do anything or that's say right, anything right. but he can put thoughts mm -hmm. and if your mind is not renewed with the word of God mm -hmm. you're going to say those things and you're going to do those things so you got you have to be careful and renew your mind often daily yes. as often as needed yes. <laughs> oh, man, I renew my mind with the word of God yeah. feed your spirit the word mm -hmm. renew your mind with the word mm -hmm. amen and crucify the flesh because the flesh just want to side with mm -hmm. <laughs> the negative. Yes. Flesh is, is weak mm -hmm. and lazy. <laughs> yeah. And the flesh is going to take the easy way out. Yeah. So renew your mind. Say, well, that's not what the word of God says, but the flesh says, yeah, but it sounds good. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Amen. So, battlefield of the mind. Um, let's open our Bibles to Romans. Uh, chapter 12. <laughs> I did a typo on my uh, for 112. <laughs> nobody, nobody knows this one. <laughs> Romans chapter 12 and verses 1 and 2. All these scriptures are familiar with us, you know, but it's okay. We're just going back and reviewing and going over it and going over it and reviewing more. And that's what you call maturing. <laughs> Amen. So praise God. And it talks, my starts off with Christian conduct. Mm -hmm. Chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And verse 2 says, 
be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by what? Renewing of your mind that ye may be improved. What is good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. So he wants us to renew our mind. Because if you don't renew your mind, you'll just fall back into what you've been seeing and into what you've been hearing. And all you hear, the world bombards us with negative information. Yes. Negative things all the time, all the time, all the time. That's all the news is about. Mm -hmm. But guess what? <laughs> We've got to get the good news in us mm -hmm. so we can go and be his mouthpiece. Yes. Amen. He says, you're new creatures in Christ. Mm -hmm. Reconcile people to me. Mm -hmm. He says, you're also my ambassadors. Mm -hmm. You're his mouthpiece, child of God here on earth. You yes. are somebody. You're going somewhere bringing good news instead of negative news. Anybody can just tell someone, someone you know, you're nobody. Uh -huh. you know good. You'll never amount to anything. And you've hurt this all your life. Why can't you be one to say, you know what, you're somebody. Jesus died for you. Jesus loves you. Jesus has a call in your life. Amen. Somebody needs to hear that. Mm -hmm. It touched me. But God has a call in your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you can do all these things and victory can be yours mm -hmm. today, starting today and every day from now on. All you have to do is know mm -hmm. who you are. You're a child of God. See yourself the way he sees you. And see yourself fulfilling what God has called you to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> the NIV, the new, uh, new, King, uh, new uh, in, in the New King James says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Mm -hmm. And do not be conformed to this world. Be transformed. Mm -hmm. You'll be transformed by renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and acceptable and perfect will of God. Uh -huh. Amen. So, praise God, you'll be surprised <laughs> how many people just go around confessing what they think. Mm. The battlefield is the mind. Yes. And go around confessing the negative things. Well, I don't feel good. I don't feel like I'm a child of God. I don't feel that way. I feel lonely. I, I, I feel sick. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and you start confessing uh -huh. and magnifying your sickness more than uh -huh. you magnify your God. Right. Uh -huh. And you start putting yourself down because of what you feel. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you gotta speak the word. You know, yes. Jesus. <laughs> I know Jesus came as a child, uh -huh. born as a child, born a human, uh -huh. and he went through some of these battles himself. And you know, when he felt weak, he went to the Father, saying, uh -huh. "Lord, I need your strength. I need your help." So why can't yeah. we do the same thing? Yeah. Go to him, Lord, I need, you. I need your strength. I need your help. And get the word and start confessing the word. And you know that he's with you. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. That's what the word of God says in Hebrews 13, 5. Yeah. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. You start feeling lonely? <laughs> Maybe it's because we need to spend more time with him. Mm -hmm. We need a relationship. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we spend time with him and start building ourselves up mm -hmm. and seeing and feeling the way he sees us. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, another, oh, uh, open all your Bibles to also Philippians, but uh, Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8. And he tells us what to think on because we're always wanting to think the negative things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says, you think or meditate on these things. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8. Are you there? Mm -hmm. It says, finally, my brother, whatsoever things are true, <laughs> whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, mm -hmm. if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Yes. Okay? So he tells us, what to meditate on. Tells us what to think about. Amen. <laughs> Let me read it to you the way I wrote it here. Finally, brethren, what things, what, <clears throat> what, <clears throat> whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if they be any virtue, think on these things. 
praiseworthy, you meditate on these things. Praiseworthy. You know, if it's not of God, if it's not good, delete it. Amen. Don't even spend time on it. Let it go. Amen. Start new. <laughs> but meditate on good things, not negative things. You know, if you've sinned, don't go around calling yourself a sinner because you're a child of God. Confess it and get it out. He says he'll, he'll forgive you and forget it. But don't go back to, <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm the sinner again. No, mm -hmm. you've confessed and you're a new creature in Christ. Yeah, yeah. You've confessed it, let it go, confess mm -hmm. it, give it to him, but don't go back to calling yourself a sinner because mm -hmm. you're not. He calls you a child. Yes. We're a children of God and he's our heavenly father. Mm -hmm. Amen. So yeah. this is this is new. First Corinthians 15, uh, 57 and 58 says, but we thank God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And 58 says, so my dear brothers and sisters, stand strong. Don't let anything change you. Don't let anything change you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Always give yourself fully to the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And know that your work is in the Lord and it's never wasted. Amen. You know, people, well, the enemy and people are going to come and tell you, well, you know, what you're doing is not right. What you're doing is no good. And you start believing that. And confessing that, and pretty soon you're away from God. But no, don't let anything says don't let anything change you. Right. Amen. You let the word of God change you, but don't let people change you. Right. Don't let things of this world change you, and always uh, give yourself fully to the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know that your work in the Lord is never wasted. Right. Amen. If you're going to do it, do it, do it as unto Him. Amen. And not unto men. Mm -hmm. Amen. But if people are going to be jealous <laughs> because they want to do what you're doing, but they're not doing it themselves. Yes. And so they're going to say negative things. But Lord, I'm doing this unto you on a daily basis mm -hmm. and before you walk out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lord, I know I can do all things through you. And I thank you. And I'm doing this unto you. Amen. And you go out. And fulfill what God is calling you to do on a daily basis. And you can because the word of God says you can do all things all through him. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. I'm not going to keep you much longer. I just want you to know <laughs> that our marching orders is <laughs> victory is mine. Yes. How would you like to walk out the door just saying <laughs> defeat is mine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be defeated today. Mm -hmm. Well you don't know what's facing me. No. So you just don't walk in defeat. That's it. No. No. You want to confess. That's my marching orders. Mm -hmm. Victory is mine. Victory. My daily attitude is this. Victory is mine. Amen. I know you've heard it many times. But my attitude is this. Victory is mine. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to say it for yourself. Yes. Amen. You have to say it for yourself. That's your marching orders. Love is. Victory is mine. Victory. Uh, love is mine. Joy is mine. Peace is mine. Happiness is mine. Prosperity is mine. Why can't we confess the positive thing and and not the negative things? Yeah. But we're so fast to confess the negative and not the positive. All these things are mine. Why? Because he's already paid the price. Mm -hmm. It's paid in full. We just have to get it in us so that we can speak it out of us. <laughs> and we got to re release it. Every promise in the Bible can be yours. Mm -hmm. And it's yours today. And all you have to do is get it in you and Amen. start confessing it and say, Victory is mine. Amen. God cannot lie. So every time He says He's going to do it for you, he's, he, you can count on it. He promised. <laughs> every, every promise in the Bible is for you. Amen. So confess it constantly. That victory is mine. Yeah. Say this victory is mine. Victory is mine. Amen. <laughs> And that's what the song came in. I was going to tell you about my song that I already told you about. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Amen. I told Satan, get thee behind. Because victory today is mine. Sing it. Speak it. Confess it. Victory is mine. Amen. I don't care. Somebody's got to hear it. You know, you say it out loud so you can hear it yourself. And you can start doing it. But not only that. 
people need to hear it. Mm -hmm. And most important of all, Satan needs to hear it. Yeah. Say, wow, he's a child of God. The Bible says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, mm -hmm. and he'll flee. You start confessing the word of God, yeah. and he's he he's gonna flee from you. That's right. Amen. So remember that you have victory. We're not fighting for victory. We're fighting. We're we're fighting from victory. Amen. Amen. Because of what Jesus has already done. Yeah. So victory. We have victory in Jesus daily. Amen. Amen. I hope that blesses <clears throat> blessed you. It blessed me. Yeah. <laughs> if it's not blessing you, then uh, it's time that you say, Lord, <laughs> I sin against you. I repent. Come to my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Amen. Mm -hmm. You need to come to Him. Mm -hmm. He didn't walk away from you. We walk away from Him. Mm -hmm. But the Word of God can change you if you allow the Word to change you. Mm -hmm. Amen. If it's not changing you, it's time for you to get off the throne. <laughs> And let Jesus sit on the throne. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's your Lord and Savior. So praise God. Amen. It blessed me. I don't know about you. <laughs> so praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I've already uh, said it. If you've never met Jesus, your Lord and Savior, it's time that you do. And that's all you have to do. Confess your sins to Him. To him. Yeah. Repent. And say, come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And He will. You know, you start thinking about all the hot negative things you've done, mm -hmm. but whatever it, whatever it may be, it doesn't matter. He says, he'll forgive you and you'll forget. Yeah. People won't, but he will. <laughs> and you can be a child of his and victory can be yours from, from this day on mm -hmm. and start marching and living for him and doing all things through Christ. Amen. Amen. So praise God. If you have sickness in your body, all you have to do is... Speak the word of God to you and say, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Sickness, I don't allow sickness in my body. Yeah. Amen. But you have to keep on confessing it. Mm -hmm. And if you have to say it out loud, say it out loud so you can hear it yourself. Say, healing is for me. Amen. By Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Sickness, I don't allow sickness in this body. I command it to go in Jesus' name. Body, receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Praise God. Amen. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you. If you're watching and you still want to give your tithes and offerings, you still can. All you have to do is go to that donate button and hit it. If you uh, are mailing it to us, all you have to do is go to NBC, PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And we want to say, God loves you. We love you. And remember, victory is yours. Amen. Victory is mine. And you have to say it for yourself. Praise God. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Thank you, Pastor. You're welcome. If I get blessed. Yes. Are you going to do the donation? The oh. Mm -hmm.